OK, so let's start by acknowledging that I'm a sucker for light displays, especially those based on arrays of light-emitting diodes, or LEDs for short. For example, we're currently looking at my 12x12 array of ping-pong balls, each containing a tricolour LED of a type that's commonly called a NeoPixel. In this case, I'm driving my array using an Arduino Uno microcontroller, running a program that employs the fast LED library. Now, I want you to think about those lava lamps that were really popular in the 1970s and are still available today. These contain a coloured liquid wax at the bottom and a transparent liquid at the top. An incandescent bulb mounted in the base lights the lamp and heats the liquid wax, which results in undulating coloured blobs of random shapes and sizes that gradually rise and fall through the surrounding liquid. Every now and then I see an interesting effect on a light display like a LED array that reminds me of a lava lamp look and feel. And each time I think, I'd like to do that myself, I wonder how it's done. But until now, I didn't know who to ask. Then, a couple of days ago, my chum Paul Parry of Bad Dog Designs in the UK sent me a video of one of his recent creations that boasted this sort of display. When I asked Paul about it, he replied that he was using a modified version of an example program called Noise that he had found included with the FastLED library. I did a bit of routing around myself and found a related example program called Noise Plus Palette that also comes with the FastLED library. My ping pong ball array is reflecting my tweaked version of this Noise Plus Palette program using a palette called Lava Colors. I don't know about you, but I am very happy with the way this turned out. Now I'm thinking about the possibilities of making the display audio reactive so that it responds to music and people talking, perhaps by changing the colours or the animation speed based on the current volume. As usual, we are limited only by our imaginations.